As for the McCain campaign, quoting here, any serious Republican has to ask, how did we get into this mess? It's not where we should be, and it's not where we had to be. This was not bad luck. That from former House Speaker Newt Gingrich. To look at the other side of this equation, let's bring in Newsweek columnist, MSNBC political analyst, Jonathan Alter. Good evening, John. Hi, Keith. For Senator McCain, this is the closing argument idea that Obama has, has raised here. His, uh, McCain's argument is, is one of, of Nazis, He's not Bush. Uh, they shouldn't elect, uh, uh, the voters should not elect uh, three uh, democratically controlled parts of, of this government, and also they should not elect a tax-happy liberal. Is that it? Is that the closing argument? Here's what you don't do? Apparently it is, you know, and this argument has failed. It hasn't worked. It's not as if John McCain hasn't been trying the argument for a while, Keith. Uh, and you could tell from Newt Gingrich's quote, that there are a lot of Republicans who wish he would focus more on the future. Uh, people like Gingrich, whatever you think of what he did in, in government, he's always talking about things like nanotechnology, or he just wrote an article with John Kerry about uh, more evidence-based medicine and the need for that. You know, other issues than just the old liberal bashing that is played out, the old attacks on tax and spend liberals just don't work. So in that sense, John McCain is not just an older candidate, his ideas and his whole approach are smelling very old tonight. Is the geography here, the, the, the physical logistics, the story at this point that both candidates are campaigning almost exclusively in states that George Bush won four years ago? I mean, when McCain literally is defending turf, does that make any kind of cohesive final message even more difficult to craft, let alone sell? Well, remember, um, you know, except for uh, being in Pennsylvania, which he hopes to pick off uh, uh, from the Democrats, um, they won it the last time, and also New Hampshire, which went uh, for John Kerry, and there's some indications that you know, McCain has a, a connection there uh, because he won two big primaries up in New Hampshire. Other than that, the McCain strategy is to win the Bush states, uh, and so it's not surprising that he would try to go to the base um, and, and, tr and try to reproduce after all of, you know, these, uh, these many months, reproduce that 2004 uh, victory. The problem is that the Karl Rove playbook, even Karl Rove doesn't think that it's applicable to this year's election. So the only way for McCain to win at this point, and there still is a chance, is for one of two things to happen, either for there to be some huge external event and even that might not necessarily play to his uh, benefit, although he is the default candidate, so you could argue that that could conceivably help him. Or uh, to just play to um, uh, fear of Obama, uh, fear of the other, fear of electing a president whose middle name is Hussein, all the kinds of things that we know um, are out there in parts of the electorate. If they weren't, if Barack Obama uh, was your usual uh, vanilla candidate, uh, this thing would be totally over. Fear and Pennsylvania. I, I'm in Philadelphia. I haven't been here that long. I didn't get the pulse of the city or anything during my time here, but I heard a few things here. Why, why Pennsylvania, when Philadelphia could deliver conceivably a seven-digit, the Philadelphia area could conceivably deliver a seven-digit margin for Obama? Does, he, does McCain actually have a chance in this state? Well, I think what they're playing on is the James Carville theory of Pennsylvania, that it's got Philadelphia on one side, Pittsburgh on the other, and is Alabama in the middle. Uh, and John McCain's going to win Alabama. Uh, they also noticed that um, even though he had several weeks, Obama did badly there uh, in the primary. Um, even Philadelphia African Americans didn't turn out in overwhelming numbers for him. He didn't do particularly well in uh, Montgomery County and Bucks County and those those areas around Philadelphia. So uh, the, the easiest way um, for uh, McCain to win this thing would be to change everything around in Pennsylvania. But he's in a he's in a deep hole there and he's still digging. Jonathan Alter of Newsweek and MSNBC. As always, thanks, John. Thanks, Keith.